guys! Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Do you guys say it Rainbow Rowell or Rainbow Rowell? Because I've heard both on booktube and I'm, I'm going with Rainbow Rowell but if it's Rowell then I apologize for that. But I just finished this book today. I have had this book on my TBR list for months now and I finally picked it up in November and I read it and you cannot even really see it in this lighting. But I finished it today and I wanted to do a book review on it because I absolutely loved it and I know it's a pretty popular book so for those of you who have not read it I highly recommend it. And so to get started I'm going to talk about the cover art because I always do that and I like these covers. There's something about like the contemporary kind of book artwork out there that I find really appealing like all of the John Green books and both of um, Rainbow Rowell's books this one and Fangirl I think they all look really really cool and just very simple but very very nicely done so I like the cover um, the two main characters are a redhead who is Eleanor and then Park has black hair because he is Asian so I think that's fitting and then they're listening to some headphones because that's kind of um, a common activity they did within the book they listen to a lot of music and stuff together um, with mixtapes and things like that so I really really love the cover as far as the plot synopsis and what goes on this is going to be a spoiler free review um, for those of you who have not read it I will keep everything spoiler free and just give you guys a little bit of a rundown so basically this is set in the 80s I believe it's 1985 let me check that I think it's 1985 Oh, 86. It's 1986 and basically it talks about the two characters of Eleanor and Park who are in high school. Um, I think they're both 15, 16, um, around that age and basically Eleanor is a new girl at this school in Omaha where Park goes. And she, it first starts off on the bus. She gets on the school bus where the, all of the, like, the kids are riding and everybody starts like judging her and laughing at her because she's the new girl and she has nowhere to sit because everybody has their place on the bus. She's kind of like very eccentric with her outfit. She wears very crazy things like very baggy clothes. She dresses like a kind of like a guy sometimes just like very eccentric with her outfit taste and she has very frizzy red hair and so immediately they start making fun of her and she is I think a little bit overweight. They talk about how she's a little bit bigger so they kind of making fun of her and she's like, where am I going to sit? And Park has a seat open on his bench, but normally he sits by himself. So he finally just tells her to sit down because he's like, everybody's laughing at her. I need to shift over a little bit. Um, so he's like, sit down. And like, he's like agitated too because he was like, I'm going to be laughed at for this. Like all these kids are going to laugh at me for letting her sit with me. So Eleanor starts sitting with Park on the bus. Eventually they start talking a little bit. Um, first it starts off with comic books. Like Park brings comics to read on the bus and he notices that Eleanor starts reading them like as he's reading them so then he starts like opening them and kind of slowly turning the pages for her to read them and they start to kind of communicate silently that way and then eventually they start talking and they develop a relationship from this scenario and basically they both well from what I had heard from other people they both kind of have like broken home kind of problematic but really Eleanor has a problematic home she lives with her mom and her stepdad and her siblings I think there's four other siblings besides her and her stepdad is just like a pain in the butt to deal with he's very abusive verbally to all of the kids and he I think is physically abusive to her mom and they have like awful living conditions like they all live together in one room um, which you know don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with sharing a room with your siblings but like all of them like sleep on the floor except Except for Eleanor and I think her sister Maisie um, so like all of the kids are like stuffed in this room together they don't have a lot they don't get a lot um, and their stepdad is just very domineering and very controlling and he keeps kind of like a tight leash on all of them and on her mother who he's kind of like controlling um, and manipulating so Eleanor hates her stepdad he had kicked her out before but she has nowhere else to go because her parents like her real dad and her mom got divorced and her real dad doesn't want any of his kids to live with him so she's stuck in this environment and she hates her home life um, and Park has a good home life um, he is a Korean family a very close-knit family I would say like his parents are still together he has a brother I think a younger brother and his grandparents live right next door so everybody's close but he does kind of bash heads a little bit with his dad um, his dad is like very focused on him being like more like a manly kind of guy 
and um, he kind of bashes with Park a little bit on some things. So they kind of um, find each other through these problems and they kind of help each other cope with them. Although I think it's more so that Eleanor um, copes with it from Park versus him coping with his kind of life because he has a pretty good life. Um, so that is pretty much what happens. They kind of um, have this relationship that forms and it's very, very cute how um, it happens. It took me back to like, being a sophomore in high school when I was like, kind of like with your first boyfriend kind of thing and holding hands and all of this really cute stuff. So I think that that was really cute about the book. It definitely kind of like hit home and I was like, oh my gosh, like I remember like these feelings. You kind of felt what they were feeling as you were reading it. So I thought that that was really cute. And um, I really liked the story. I will say that I wish that there had been a little bit more of like the 80s kind of theme going on. There were a little bit, or there were like quite a few, I would guess, like 80s references, like the music and things like that. Um, but I wish that there had been a little bit more 80s kind of uh, twist to it just because I love the 80s decade which I've talked about before like if I could go back to any time it would be the 80s and so I really was hoping it was going to be like full on like ah in your face but uh, I think the story was timeless as far as like everything going on for the most part like it could be applicable to life today for the most part. As far as the characters go really quickly I liked both the characters of Eleanor and Park. Um, I found I didn't have a problem with Eleanor. I feel like some people that I've watched reviews of this before didn't like Eleanor, um, but I really didn't mind her. I feel like um, the way the author wrote the book, it's like split between their two points of views. You get to see what they're thinking and how they are feeling. I feel like inside she was very um, like loving towards Park. She really liked him and she was, you know, a compassionate and stuff. She was just more like, um, kind of self-conscious on the outside and very embarrassed with herself and uh, with certain kind of situations and things so I feel like sometimes the way like she was seen by other people maybe was not as likable at times like she was very like moody sometimes but I feel like inside she was just very fragile and so that was kind of showing through um, and then Park I really liked his character I felt like he was very sweet towards his feelings for Eleanor and how he was talking about how like he'd never felt that way before about anybody and all that good stuff so overall I think it's an excellent book and I would highly recommend it I was not sure how I would feel about it because some people that I watched again said they really liked it and some said they didn't like it as much as they thought but I really really loved it and I think it's worth reading so definitely gave it five stars on Goodreads and think it's worth picking up if you like contemporary books. Very short quick review um, as always so be sure to leave your thoughts below if you've read it and tell me whether you liked it or not and if you haven't read it let me know if you're going to read it or if you want to read it and all of that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys are having a fabulous month of December because it is December 2nd now and I will talk to you all very soon bye guys mm -hmm.